Guys, I found the door to the time chamber. We're free. Finally! We've been stuck in there for three weeks. <laughs> three weeks? <laughs> uh, I did the math approximately, yes. Guys, huh. it's worse. Uh. Huh? The time dilation is muted. <laughs> oh, no. And Johnny's still out cold. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I guess... We'll get. We'll, we'll we'll just start without him for now. Yeah. Until he wakes up. He'll probably wake up like halfway through. Uh, luckily though, Billy. More sense of beans. We already used them all up. I mean, <laughs> luckily one. though. Luckily though, the, the we're on time. And best part is, Billy. Hmm. Right before we left, I made sure the computer absorbed information while we were gone. So. I guess. Luckily. Wait, but... Luckily, the uh, the slideshow should be fully updated. Sounds about right. <laughs> but he was in the chamber with us. <laughs> How is that possible? There's no books or internet. It's uh, 5G. 5G, yeah. But it was G we were completely secluded from everything. It was just us, the room, and the void. Verizon doesn't care. Well, uh, well, and the voices. Don't forget about the voices, or was that just me? I think we left you alone for a little too long. Oh. Oh. So I never did play Dead Space, huh? <laughs> Is that when we filmed you going full, you know, Tom Hanks with the volleyball, calling it Wilson? You know, plenty of, that's kind of what happens in Dead Space. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think, I, think we, I think we've been doing this bit for a little too long. <laughs> I could have kept going, but alright. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we just hopped out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. yeah, the hyperbolemic lion chamber. Yeah, the hyperglycemic... Yeah, hang on. Something, something. Anyway. Alright. So. Now we have three weeks worth of news to go through. So right off the bat, we have a, a major announcement. Room jobs are coming to Halo Infinite! I, I completely forgot about this. <laughs> uh, this joke would have been a lot more relevant two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, the... <laughs> Needless to say, uh, interesting phrasing. And also, I guess this was bundled with Season 5 of Infinite. Um, I can't really say anything about it considering <laughs> my game keeps crashing whenever I, I try to play. It. I played Season 5 of Halo Infinite! Well, you have anything to say? I don't know, it kind of feels the same to be honest. <laughs> I like the new map. I like the new yeah. map. The new map is pretty good. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Layout's kind of, kind of funky, but like... Yeah. I think it's a good looking map. I haven't tried Infection yet, though. Infection? But I mean... Inf that was last season? <laughs> you mean Extraction? Extraction, yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried Extraction. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, from what I've played, I do like the the Needler. The new I one. I do... The best part... The best part they've done is that they've, uh... They, they've added, like, a reason to, like, actually play the game now. <laughs> yeah, if you reach a certain, uh... Oh, yeah, certain, Hero uh, Rank. Level, You'll unlock uh, the Master Chief's armor. Which yeah, is pretty cool. right there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh. So now Halo Infinite is officially a six out of ten game. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> We're halfway there. Uh. Uh. By my calculations, Halo Infinite should be a good game in three years. <laughs> All right. Uh. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, I guess, I guess the conclusion is pretty good update. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And then, uh, Edwin, this is a you topic because, um, I have still haven't gotten to play. I only played Azucena, she was really, really fun. The new lobby is kind of, kind of weird. Like, the, the, the Oh yeah, it's like, player. from what I saw, it's, it's like Battle Hub, but worse. Oh, uh, kinda, yeah. You can't make like any disgusting monsters. Not that I. I'm oh, try. shame. I try my hardest to make a disgusting monster of a character, but like, no, my character can't look. Get me in there. I'll find a way. Uh, That's my that, specialty. Uh, yeah, t a gameplay absolute ten out of ten. Man, that netcode is fucking abysmal, isn't it, guys? I swear, <laughs> it's getting worse. I swear, the netcode is actually getting worse. <laughs> I, I remember. Uh, 
because you kind of went on a rant about the netcode a few um, like a few days ago, and <laughs> if I, may, I think I've, I've made the joke like, you know, at this point, I think bad netcode is just like the one thing Tekken is never gonna get right. It's the core pillar. It, it's it's, it's like the it's the life. that's the one Tekken curse. <laughs> it's not a curse. It's a feature. It's a feature. <laughs> <sighs> But anyways, like, yeah, uh, from what I have heard, uh, Tekken 8, uh, CBT pretty good. <laughs> on the on the exact opposite end of the spectrum of fighting games. <laughs> so I played in a tournament for, uh, my favorite, uh, poverty fighter, Blade Arcus. <laughs> um. I'll be right back. <laughs> I don't blame you for trying to avoid this topic. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh. In case you somehow don't know, uh, this is a, a fighting game based on um, the Shining series by Sega. Um, it's very, very jank, very low budget. I love it. <laughs> but it, so it was kind of fun uh, getting to play in a tournament for it. I still got um, stumped pretty hard though. But I did um, upload my footage if you want to track that down. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think Johnny would be able to talk about this. So Spider-Man 2 came out. <laughs> Well, sadly, Johnny's still pass out on the floor right. due to uh, temporal, temporal displacement. So, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 science, timey wimey stuff. To be determined. Yeah, I um, heard it's pretty all right. Yeah. Also, Mario Wonder. Um, the only thing I've seen of this game was Phil Boat play it. <laughs> I watched his stream on it, and that's all I know about it. So, um, Edwin, I don't think you've played it. <laughs> Either. No, I'm too cool for Mario games. Except <laughs> Odyssey. Odyssey's cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, based on what I've heard, it's it's pretty good. Also, um, okay, here's um something more up your alley. Um, we got some new Persona 3 Reload screenshots. Shows a lot of the um like side characters and some new designs for yeah, the the... new characters. Yeah, we and got, for the main we got, main we got cast. The... Yeah, we we got, we got like obviously we got some some new outfits. We got a new outfit for. For, yeah, uh, guess, new from Mitsuru. Mitsuru, Mitsuru has uh, a ponytail now. Pretty epic. I think I think that Ken outfit is new. I think I don't remember. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we finally get to see all the well, not all, some of the side socials. We get to see the, right. the student side social. Yeah, and we'll so get one, to that. One of them seems to be. Me. There's one guy missing. There's a lot. Hmm. Where was he at? Um, hey, including yeah, Scott the Was. <laughs> These are your classmate social links. You know, right. like, uh, on the left, you have uh, you have the boy, the goat, Kenji. <laughs> you know, we all know a Kenji. <laughs> the only thing I remember about Kenji was was that the guy that I said looked creepy on the like original Persona Three box art or something. You were like, really? Yeah. <laughs> Kenji. There's Obama something people. on his face that just threw me off. <laughs> I don't know how even to describe remake, it. Is he even scare? Is he even scarier in the remake? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. But I'm shocked you didn't bring up like the the one big thing about um about the this one on over here. Oh, that's right. The boy Kazui Kazuishi, uh, right below right below Kenji, the boy Kazuishi. He's he's in. Look look at him. He looks pretty much the same, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna turn this uh, a little more. And uh, I'm shocked you didn't bring up the the thing that you um, were angry about, uh, well, quote unquote we, we, angry. We, can, wait, we, no, we don't need to talk about that. Um, you don't need to talk about Iga's feet. <laughs> but, but below that, we have Hideyoshi, the Emperor Social Link. Fuck, I I I vote with that dude. He's pretty cool. I like him. Um, and then below that, that's right. Scott the Waz. <laughs> the Scott the Waz is in Persona Three. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot his name. I think I forgot his name. Yeah, I, I just remember. Hang on. Like the, let me uh let me make sure it's not like okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah. Then we have uh then we have Moon Arcana guy who's never forgot. I don't know. No nobody likes. I don't like. Uh, cringe. <laughs> uh, but then we got but then we got uh best uh side social link girl uh Yuko. Uh, she's in. Let's fucking go. Strength Arcana. And then below that, we have Chihiro. And then below that, we have the most underrated social link in the series, Bebe the Goat. 
Yeah. But oh yeah, we almost missed that. Yeah. Work. Real Ochuro is real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not really much Guys, to say. I mean, she looks good in I, new I art style. This, I believe this is from her first social link. This is where yeah. she's like, "Are you bored?" And you're like, "Nah." Or yeah. <laughs> and then and then she's like, "What books do you like?" And you can say a lot of shit, but I the the, the correct answer is always the classics, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or huh. manga, yeah. Anyways, uh, Killer Instinct turned 29. Damn, that's older than me. <laughs> like, how do you get back for that? <laughs> I've been back for like the past few minutes, man. Oh, I, I, yeah. I didn't hear you, sorry. Yeah, no one ever does. <laughs> oh, I did, I, I did. <laughs> uh, how the tables have turned. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, Killer Instinct is 29. I think they, um, I think they released something for it, but I forgot what it was. They released, like, an anniversary That's collection cool. or something. Uh, I don't think so, because there's, there's already a collection for Killer Instinct out. Hmm. Well, not really, but, like, if, like, you can... Um, maybe it was, like, a, sure like, a, now, maybe it was, like, maybe it was, like, a limited sure. edition free, like, physical version or something. I don't know, because I know, I'm pretty sure if you just get Killer Instinct, it literally just comes bundled with Killer Instinct. Oh yeah, it comes Instinct, with one and two, uh, yeah. And two. It comes with one and two. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but I remember I saw, like, there was a post, like, something like, uh, uh, we're bringing back, like, the original games on ah. this or something like that. I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was, like, yeah. a one, arcade one-up thing. I don't know. I can check. Because I, I, I just remember there was, like, something that popped up. Uh, still remaining within the the realm of fighting games. Um, this is the most news that DOE Six has gotten in years, <laughs> and it's not even technically from Tecmo itself. <laughs> but uh, usual. Uh, uh, basically, it's the um this 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 from the same group that um that did the the Evo Japan side tournament. Basically, all it's saying is um yeah, it's gonna be a side tournament again at um. Evo Japan 2024, and um, also they want to like, they they want to collaborate with some like overseas, aka in our like regions, uh, esports groups to like bring DOA Six and some other fighting games like internationally. So yeah, that would be kind of cool. They also they also, uh, they also mentioned they also mentioned Saudi Arabia, which um. Good luck getting DOA yeah. there. <laughs> Good luck getting DOA there. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, uh, DOA, you want to collaborate with an esports league over here in America? You, have you, ever, you ever heard of Blizzard Entertainment? Oh no! <laughs> no. Have you ever heard of Blizzard no. Entertainment? I think I know where you can go. Uh. The only good Blizzard is the song that plays in Super Broly. <laughs> you ever heard of Tencent? Oh god. Oh my god. Moving on before he gets further down. Yeah. As, uh, on a related note, um, this is gonna be a, uh, another tournament next, um, next, sa this Saturday. <laughs> next Saturday, yeah. It was this. It, it was this! <laughs> it would have been this Saturday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, hop on. Well, okay, well, this is Sunday if you're on PlayStation. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Tekken 8. Got some new characters revealed. Um, first off, some returning ones. We got, um... What's his name? Leo? Yeah. Not yeah. Rock Howard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Leo, Zafina, Alisa, and Lee, I think his name is. And also Devil Jin, but I, we kind of already assumed he was going to be in it. And uh, they also revealed a new character. This guy. Yeah, uh, uh, Victor. Victor something, something. But Victor, it, yeah. But it, you know what? He's fucking awesome. Thanks yeah. to my homie Harada, my personal friend, my personal friend, my personal friend Harada. He, he he's like, he's like, you know what, Edwin? You know what? I've given you two two waifus. I've given you one badass old man. What if I give you a second one and I give him a fucking sword? <laughs> Nice. And then I'm like, yeah, the, thank you, Mr. The way I've heard, the way I, I saw someone describe him has, he has, like, the look of Hitman from DNF with, like, the moveset of Noctis. Yeah, but, like, good. Oh, yeah. Except Noctis. Put some respect on Noctis. <laughs> um, but, yeah. 
Yeah, to be honest, he just re he really reminds me a lot of like Quantum Ranger from uh, Battle for the Grid. I was like, mm. like I see his moves and I'm like, he just gives me that vibe. Like a lot of the moves look the same, like 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 that. They look very similar. Yeah. But yeah, fucking awesome. I fucking awesome character. <laughs> but One yeah. of the coolest fucking character designs they've ever done. Yeah. Harada did it again. He he, he ruined Tekken by doing the bad neck kill, but then he saved it. <laughs> he saved We're making it the week this after, guy. <laughs> the week after, one week after he saves it. Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm looking at the uh, the trailer right now. Um, his name translates to Conqueror Knight. Mmm, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> that's pretty fucking awesome. But yeah, this guy looks pretty badass. cool. <laughs> Yeah, I feel I feel like a lot of people are gonna immediately name him, maim him, maim, main, main him, him? <laughs> maim him. Nah, I've seen his moves. He's gonna I mean... maim you. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen his moves? Yeah. This man, this man is absolutely a hitman. <laughs> his title not, is not, refined not... violence. Refined oh, violence. Fucking peak! Fucking peak! Oh my fucking god! Peak, Harada. Harada did it again. Harada did it again. Speaking of peak, oh wait, that's the next one. Oh, by one. the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, he was actually teased like relatively like a while ago. We just didn't know. Uh, uh was it like back in Tekken Seven or like early Tekken Eight thing? No, back back in like a couple of months ago. When, oh. Like uh, Harada or like Harada is like somebody was like a uh. uh Oh, th there's no characters from France, uh, and uh, somebody's like, "But isn't Lily from France?" A and then Harada's like, "No, we do not have any French characters in Tekken." Yet. No, he didn't say yet. He just said we don't have any French characters in Tekken. He said that'd be pretty cool though. And look what <laughs> that'd be right pretty there. cool though. <laughs> teaser the whole. It was a teaser the whole time. <laughs> oh, Harada. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at this man's move set. What the fuck? Yeah, this guy's insane. This guy's yeah. wild. He's got like, <laughs> oh, am I crazy? Or like, it, 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 he looks like Virgil, but with like, with like more weapons. <laughs> basically, literally just like is, so, he's, this he's is doing basically... Virgil shit. Okay, this is Virgil shit with. Dante's arsenal and Noctis's warp strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Thank you, Harada. Thank you once again, my good friend Harada. <laughs> the, the joke that you've been making uh, about how like Tekken is specifically made Harada. for you. <laughs> it, yeah, it's slowly starting to come funny. true. <laughs> It, it's really funny because the my homie Harada joke has been around for like f like years. It's around for like and, five and now years. it's like <laughs> and now it's like getting a little too too realistic. Yeah, my homie Harada, me and my homie Harada, he's in my DMs. We're talking right now, actually. Oh, he says there's room for one more character, so we'll see. I I'll mean, yeah, say... yeah, they did say uh, November twelfth. <laughs> this is gonna be the final Lamau... character reveal. Lamau. Harada, bro, anybody but Julia. Man. He says K. K? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, right, we'll so be we... back season four, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh. Wait, anyways, yeah, this guy looks cool. Um, to follow up on the um on the Splatfest thing that was the on the last episode, aka three weeks ago. Um. The result of it was we finally got a big man W, <laughs> which funnily enough, I, Edwin didn't just say um, for this one. Didn't you just say like um, I'm, I'm finally starting to see to see the pattern. I'm just gonna go shiver. <laughs> no, well, I don't even, I don't even, uh, I didn't even pick shiver. I didn't oh. even pick shiver for this one. Oh, wait, what did you pick then? Uh, fucking Team Sands. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Um, uh, this is a new record for second Fry. Place, okay. Yeah, this is a new record for Fry. She's finally come in second place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thanks to the Sands collab. Yeah. But anyways, as alluded to earlier, speaking of, uh, whoops, I skipped ahead. <laughs> time now. It is time <laughs> for the main event. I guess you could say. 
Because uh, October. Hey, he's already <laughs> you know what the worst part about this is? Huh. I cannot leave. He beat me for of heading out that door. <laughs> if I leave, you are stuck in a freaking quagmire where you have no one to bounce off of. <laughs> I am forced, by the sake of comedy, to stay here <laughs> and be the straight man of this duo currently. <laughs> huh. Wait, anyways, yes, uh, October 27th, they held a uh, like informational live stream thing for the uh, anniversary update for an EK. Uh, right off the bat, I just want to point out that they actually acknowledged one of Alm's complaints that he had one time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did mention this. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was like, I, I don't think that, because I, I mentioned, like, there wasn't, like, a specific pistol class, and you're like, that's stupid. <laughs> Why wouldn't they have a pistol class in a shooting game? Well, here you go. They, they acknowledged it. <laughs> I, yeah, I remember this, and I was actually really pissed about the pistol thing. <laughs> Because everyone had some form of rifle. Yeah. And then you have that one character who uses katana and blade beam. Oh yeah, and she's and I think like, she's I think she's considered an assault rifle. That's even worse. <laughs> Although I guess if they're going by weapon length, then it's like yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the close I, okay, no, it's probably more like a range slash shooting style thing. I guess. But still, it's like, bro, how are you going to have snipers, fucking three-round bursts, shotguns? You have the one character with a katana, but you don't have any fucking... But you don't pistol. have a pistol. Hmm. Like, really, you added the katana before you added the pistol. Do you have any idea how stupid that is? <laughs> You add the pistols first, and then you add the katana character as the one outlier later on. <laughs> That's how you sell more shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh... I'm never, I'm never getting into this. But you know what? At least they somehow acknowledge this thing. I am 90% sure they have my room bugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, consider. Well, I think they uh, they might have heard what you said about Red Hood. So, uh, speaking of Red Hood, <laughs> um, they also announced uh, the so the story event for the anniversary, which um, it's another prequel, just like Overzone, but it's even further back. <laughs> uh, to the point that uh, I think the time frame is this is four years after the Raptures first appeared. Um, so yeah, these. It's like for everyone on here, these these are like these are the OGs, pretty much, <laughs> including um. Oh wait, right, she's later. But um, okay. So first, uh, we have the two new playable playable characters. We have um, of course, the character you've heard before, the the entity inside Rappy. Spoilers, I guess. Of uh, Red Hood, and also we have um, a young version of Snow White, um, which everyone started calling Small White. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know how a younger version of her exists when they're robots, but okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, so this, oh, so this that is one. not a sniper rifle. That is a fucking cannon, and you cannot <laughs> convince me otherwise. Well, so anyways, um. So, on paper, at least, Red Hood's kit sounded really good. And um, a big part of that was, um, so a big part of um, Nikkei's gameplay is, um, er, as well as, like, a big part of team composition specifically, is that um, every character has, like, a burst value, which is basically, um, uh, every character has, like, a number from one to three that aligns with um, their, like, super, basically. And um, it's basically, you need a character with, you need at least one character with one, two, and three to like do a full like a full combo basically. Uh, as you can see right here, she is all three. <laughs> and on top of that, a lot of the skills um sounded really good. Although um, well, let's just say in the final the final version um, it's not as good as people thought it was. <laughs> to the point that uh, if you look in any replies to any. A DK tweet. It is, it is uh, covered in people saying buff Red Hood. 
So, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. But on the other hand, All um... Is they fumbled their anniversary unit, which is not a good fucking sign. Well, I mean, okay, okay, from, from what I've seen, it's more like... It's less she's a bad unit and more she's not good in the way people want thought she was going to be. Because, <laughs> like, the, the thing okay. that people are comparing... The, peop the way that people are rating her is her damage, but she's, like, more effective as a, like, a buffer unit. If that makes sense. That's weird, but okay. Yeah. Again, I know jack shit about this game. Yeah. So... I'm just, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to pretend like <laughs> Smile and nod. Smile and wave, Smile and wave. But anyways, uh, we also have a... Uh... This is a, a pretty cool thing uh, that S Small White is actually um a free a free character you can get just for logging in. And um, more than that, you, have a, you can get enough copies of her to max limit break her. And there's also a lot of recruitment tickets that are being given out for free, obviously. Yeah, and the we usually do that. Yeah. The, the one thing I saw people say was, man, this is like a, a thousand times better than what Genshin's anniversary was. Because <laughs> apparently they got they like... Didn't do anything. Yeah, because apparently all they got was like, oh yeah, here's a, here's a ten pull. <laughs> and that was it. <sighs> like, man. <laughs> but yeah... yeah. Huh. At least, I mean, okay, FGO kind of does that, but, like, there's usually, like, some other shit going on, too. Right. Like, they give you a free 10, they do this thing where it's, like, the one quest where you can actually try out the new unit for the anniversary. Yeah. So it's, like, even if you don't get them, you get a taste of what they can do. Right, like you get to you get to try them before you um like drop the quartz into them. Potentially summon for them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And uh, usually there was like some other campaign prior, so it's like if you save up enough, you might end up getting basically two temples for free, which doesn't sound like much, but like, eh, <laughs> better than the fucking one that Genshin gives out apparently. <laughs> Uh. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's also, yeah. oh yeah, Synchro expansion, that's, that's really good. <laughs> it's basically, summon? Um, it's, uh, the, the Synchro, the Synchro device is basically, um, it's... I know what a Synchro device does. Yeah, it's how you level up, <laughs> pretty much. Anyways, um, up next, uh, going back to, like, the actual story event, um, uh, in regards to some of the characters, um, one of them... Well, actually, it was a very big surprise to me when I saw that they were going to be in this. Not as Lilith is actually real. <laughs> uh, for context, I don't know where the is. um, uh, well, you may recall her from this uh, back when Overzone released. <sighs> Trying to what? Starting to ramble. <laughs> ah. Yeah, cause I, I, mean... I remember I sent that as soon as I saw it. Uh, but yeah, this, this was back in April. Wow. I thought it was back in April. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was, uh, yeah, uh, I was not, to put it into perspective, I didn't think we would see Lilith until, like, the point when we would eventually get to the point where they were, like, wrapping up the main story. Because, um, all I'm pretty sure I mentioned this to you, like, back when Overzone was happening, but, uh, Let's just say this character has a very, very deep connection with a character we probably won't see until the finale. <laughs> um, that means literally fuck all to me. I don't know, maybe I'll explain it later. As I put down here, I don't know what I'm going to say Please here, but it's not. probably going to sound like the ramblings of a lunatic. <laughs> You already sound like a lunatic whenever yeah, you bring up this I, I was going to say, isn't that just every time I talk about this game? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. But yeah, uh, yeah, we finally get to see Lilith, and she's pretty cool in the story. 
Uh, also, there's just something kind of funny I noticed. So yeah, uh, since this is so back, since this is so far back in in the past, um, pretty much everyone has like a different look. Like Scarlet has um, new armor, which I didn't add it here, but she looks the in-game portrait looks really cool. Um, Rapunzel has a forehead <laughs> and different uh, attire, and of course Snow White became a kid. <laughs> So yeah, pretty much everyone looks different. And then there's Dorothy, <laughs> who has looked the same throughout every single time period. <laughs> Which I just thought was kind of funny. And also, okay, this is another thing that kind of aged poorly, but um, at the end of the trailer, they teased this character who, I said, oh, they're probably going to be the boss slash main antagonist. Which, I mean, that's still possible, but I mean, we now know the name of this character. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> But anyways, moving on. Uh, they also had a vocal theme, but I think I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> but this is just like a 30 second snippet of it, but... Yeah, uh, they got like a vocal theme with an actual band. Uh... I've never heard of this band called Jerv. I think it's like a, um, a Swedish band, I think they said? Um, but yeah, they got them to like, uh, do a song, so that was kinda cool. Oops. Um, oh and also... <laughs> If Edwin was looking, he would recognize this. Really? I'm gonna kill you for this one. <laughs> I am going to fucking murder you for this one. Guess I should wash my back when we, I should wash my back when we when we go bowling. I'm gonna smash your fingers is what I'm gonna fucking do. <laughs> But yes, uh, the mini game for this event. It's uh, very Vampire Survivors inspired. <laughs> to the point that it actually got me to load up Vampire Survivors. <laughs> I said you went to Edwin and you're like, oh, I understand. Oh, he told you? It's a vampire. Yes, he told me about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was proud of that. <laughs> he showed me that. <laughs> You know what the worst part about this that is? Huh. Let me go back to that conversation. Huh. Uh We were no, never mind. Um We were talking about something else. And then you just pop in and you say this. I now understand why you two were so addicted to vampire survivors a while back. <laughs> Edwin then responds with, yeah, it's like virtual crack. The game will only get more and more addicting until you figure out a strategy for beating Red Death, which is like the big bad final thing in Vampire Survivors. I remember when right. I first played it, I was surprised that after the end of my first session with it, eight, eight hours, hours had passed, passed yeah. I never noticed. <laughs> and then? <laughs> and then you say... Yeah, the visual overhaul is also really cool. Can you send a picture of this? Uh, yeah, and, and, and I think his response was the Adachi. The Adachi picture. He tells me I'm honestly speechless and posting that was the worst follow-up I've ever seen. <laughs> oh and my then... And then, he sends me this. Oh, is it a picture? Let's kill him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, this minigame's pretty fun. <laughs> huh. Anyways, you know what? Uh, play an actual game and just go to fucking Vampire Survivors. Okay? <laughs> uh, anyways, they also teased uh, chapter twenty five and twenty six. Uh, I am I'm just starting chapter nineteen, so I don't know what's going on, <laughs> except for what few I've been spoiled on. So uh, I can't really say anything here. <laughs> oh, some quality of life changes, pretty average. Oh, they're bringing the Christmas event to the event archives with full voice acting. I am not emotionally ready to hear the final scene in voice acting. <laughs> okay, now for like a little bit of the negative stuff, other than the fact that I had to stay up until 3 a.m. <laughs> so, uh, 
first off, they showed off some new costumes. And, which is, this was kind of cool, because it's the first time any pilgrims have gotten a costume. Not counting Modernia. Uh, which I don't count, considering she was, like... She only got a costume because of a voting thing. <laughs> but, uh, I especially really like the Dorothy one. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, maybe I'll actually get this one just because it's the anniversary. And then when I saw the Twitter post about it, I saw the three words I really did not want to hear. Ah, <laughs> uh, still the worst monetization function I've ever seen. Oh, and last but not least, as usual, these characters have some great faces. <laughs> Anyways, that concludes everything I had. <laughs> So, shall we wake up Edwin again and, um, do the recap? Oh. <laughs> oh, you were typing? What did you think that was doing? <laughs> I don't know, I was looking at the screen, I didn't, <laughs> didn't see your... I didn't, like, see you typing. Uh, Are you ready? Oh, while he comes back, in other news... Oh, right. Uh, if anyone's into card games, which, uh, God help your soul, <laughs> um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Anniversary Rarity Collection, um, yeah, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good, uh, a lot of uh, meta cards in that box, and uh, currently highest rarity possible, which is the quarter century rares. The most expensive of which is Ash Blossom. It is at 140. Hmm. I now have that, so fuck all of you. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it generally does have a lot of good cards in, in the set. Uh, some reprints of other meta cards and the like. Um, hmm. I'd say if you're actually making a deck, this isn't a bad uh, set to get into because it has a good amount of reprints of meta cards. And if you buy a box, you're bound to get at least one quarter century and you can at least get some of your money back so you won't be spending too much money i guess would be the you'll be able to like soften the blow if you would um of course because it has some high rarity shit in there it's gonna cost quite a bit of money to begin with so do it at your own risk kids be fiscally responsible don't be like edwin yeah and i know he's undeafened right now which is why i said it <laughs> I can be trusted with money. I can be trusted <laughs> with money. Can. No, you can't. I can be trusted with money. I can be trusted. I'm not going to do anything goofy like buying things I shouldn't buy. You already anyway. do that. No, me, I would never. <laughs> Don't you lie to me. I would never. That in and of itself was a lie. <laughs> Anyways, recap. Um, Halo Infinite Season 5, pretty good from what we've heard. Um, Tekken 8 CBT. I can only go off of what everyone has said. <laughs> so basically, good... Oh. Oops. Anyway. Um, so yeah, basically, from, from what everyone has said, um, good... Uh, Good gameplay, netcode is getting worse somehow. <laughs> um, Blade Arcus. Spider-Man 2, we have to wait until uh, Johnny gets back for that. Um, well, okay, he's, he said he's not going to be here. Um, Mario Wonder, it's good from what I've heard. Um, Persona 3 Reload, some screenshots, I guess. Reload Churro. Um, happy Anniversary Killer Instinct. Um... DOA 6 tournaments. DOA 6 tournaments. Five years. Um, Tekken 8. 
This character is Peek. Uh, Peek finally won. Happy birthday to Peek. Alright. Let's go. I am going to fucking kill you for that one. <laughs> Anyways, let us begin. Guess what, guys? Remember to share the screen. I was gonna say, I remembered this time. For once, I have remembered. <laughs> yeah, after like three weeks. I also realized I forgot, I forgot to bring up the rapping ninja, but don't care. <laughs> oh, I was gonna get you that for Christmas, though. <laughs> well, um, pre-orders end not. December 14th, so, uh, that and it doesn't come out until, like, next year. I know. <laughs> I didn't know. I lied to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 47 11. Now we begin. 